Um, we've got the office. Um, the, Amer uh, the American one I didn't really like. The British one I adore. The British police and the merchant version of this. Uh, fantastic. We've got South Park. We've got Doctor Who. Uh, the David Tennant era. Not the Rose um, era, but I do like the Martha and the Donna Noble era. That's probably my favourites. And um, we've got Icy, we've got um, the host select this group of Michael Jackson. Um, let's get my good one and We've got the Robot Horse collection. Um, the Robot Horse sort of thing. Um, a really, really good collection. It's, um, it's a good, good bit of fun. And Tom and Jerry, nice Tom and Jerry. Be kind, be one. The um, comedy with Jack Black in it. Um, basically, you know, they watched every video tape in the rental shop. And yeah, I have to recreate every tip in the shop, and it's really funny. Prometheus, um, um, <laughs> Idiot of all three, the Warwick Davis, and Carl Brokington. Um, I really do like that series, it's very funny, and season two was the best. Um, Bad Grandpa, the um, spin off um, that Dream Oxford uh, created, actually. Yeah. It's really, really good, and I like it a lot. The Lego movie, um, I like this with Donkey's News since I was a teenager. And this one comes with uh, Morgan Freeman's character as Anthony Green, which is great. Um, Emperor's New Groove is brilliant. Um, Pan's Labyrinth, I really like as well. Um, very creepy film, very, very creepy. Especially for the time, also. Just a spider on my bed, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> the Cats and Dogs films, uh, the first one, amazing. Uh, classic, uh, supporting to you. Since the movie, I watched this religiously as a child, I saw it at the cinema with my dad, and it's just yeah, a really good movie. Um, I think it's a lot. Bambi, didn't like Bambi that much to be honest, um, it's found a bit boring. Um, Stuart Little 2, one of my favourites in the series, um, I had the first film on VHS. Um, see, the second one was very good, James Boyd as a Falcon, which I thought was quite funny. Digimon the movie, I saw it in it. Um, Dark Knight was fucking phenomenal. Um, yeah, uh, Christian Bale version of, um, well, I guess, this, I guess the second one of the, um, the, oh, this is fucking, um, Christian Bale uh, series. Uh, really, really good. Um, Heath Ledger as a Joker, as you know. Um, Steam Boy, the, um, Cats that with Tomo, um, Masterpiece. Um, Akira is better, but, um, we'll get on to it a little bit. Cars, I've had that for years. Um, looking back at it now, very good, not very good at all. Toy Story 3 was the perfect way to end those films completely. Um, 4 ruined it and 5 going to ruin it as well. So that's nice, isn't it? Uh, yeah, probably my favourites in the series, Toy Story 3. Transformers, Dark of the Moon, um, not bad. Um, it's just Michael Bay, an exploding movie, isn't it? 11 year old me really liked it, and I actually found an old review of this way way back when I was about 11, so I might find that. Um, we don't know it and uh, do a review on that. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to see that. Um, maybe. You never know. Brutus Millions. Um, a really, really good comedy with um, John Candy in it as well. Um, Revenge of the Sith. Um, yeah, it's alright, isn't it? Um, Revenge of the Fallen. Transformers again. Um, it's alright, isn't it? The um, action scenes aren't that bad. So, you know, that, that does make a difference. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, I have no idea why I have this film, it's a fucking fever dream. It's bad, um, basically it's a load of, you know, I guess, underage lads trying to buy alcohol and press chicks and, um, um, yeah, it kind of like the entire when we were a kid, really. Um, Ratty, um, interesting Pixar film, I used to like it when I was a kid. I um, watched it again recently and it's pretty, pretty good, um, you know, animation was beautiful for time. Um, this is when Pixar were absolutely on fire with um, making good animated movies instead of making crap. Um, now I get the fee, I haven't seen this film in years, and frankly I didn't remember enjoying it that much. Transformers, the original movie from 1980-something, um, is a pretty good uh, really good movie. A fantastic cast in this, really well cast, and um, Orson Welles plays Unicron, the uh, Master of Planets, so he's got uh, Pokemon. Christ, I, it's late, I need to go to bed. Um, but he plays a planet sized Decepticon. That's the one. Uh, moving to some blue rooms, Van Helsing with. Um, what's his bloody name? I've got his name now, that's embarrassing. Hugh Jackman. 
um, really, really good, kind of blends all the Universal Monster movies uh, together, kind of. Into some sort of cohesive story. Uh, District 9, uh, the really, really good. Um, what was it called again? Um, Neil Blomkamp, that's the one that I just completely forgot. Peter Jackson uh, produced that as well, it's really good. Pasolini, the um, biographical. Pasolini, the um, biographical um, for Piero Pasolini, um, played fantastically by Willem Dafoe. Um, to be honest, I was kind of disappointed with it, really. But um, you know, for for a biopic, it's not too bad. The Batman from twenty was it twenty two? Yeah, I think it was. I almost forgot them. Um, I really enjoyed this film. I watched this film incredibly hungover, <laughs> funny enough, but it cured my hand. Um, yeah, really good movie, um, really well cast. I do like, um, I forgot his name now, but um, the, the Vampire Boy. Um, uh, look, mm, Robert Patterson, that's the one. He was in that film, Water for Elephants as well. Um, yeah, really good, uh, really good cast. Um, I like the DIY aesthetic of his um, Batmobile and his costume. Uh, that makes with oh Christ, you're a Serbian film. Um, this one's a cut, and to be honest with you, I'm happy with that. Um, this one's fucking disgusting. Vortex, the uh, Gaspar Noe film, which, which basically plays at two films in one, really, or two perspectives. It's about um, a m mother who has dementia, and basically her older son tries to look after her, and it's very difficult. Shutter Island, that film really, really hurt my brain at first, but going through it again, it's actually not a bad movie, I really do. It. Um, going back, obviously knowing the spit, knowing the twist and the secret. Um, yeah, it's kind of fun to go back and watch it again. Return of the Living Dead, not as good as three, but I do like um, the comedy aspect of it. Home Alone, I do love Home Alone. Home Alone Two, kind of better than the first one, but um, this one really. Um, if this isn't on at Christmas, then honestly, mate, it ain't Christmas. You know what I mean? Julian Donkey Boy. Um, this was Harmony Corrine's second full-length feature with uh, Ewan Bremner as Julian and has, um, what's his name? Um, Werner, is it Werner Herzog? As his dad. And it's, uh, it's all bizarre, but I do like it. Pokemon 3 with Entei, that lizard Pokemon. It's all right, not as good as 2000 though. Akira, this was my, one of my favorite films um, growing up. It was really, um, what really got me into anime and that kind of aesthetic. Django Unchained, probably one of my favourite Tarantino films, really. Um, it's a really, really, really spectacular western. Um, really well, really well, really well cast, and um, obviously I understand why people wouldn't like it. It's very controversial with the language, but um, yeah, I think it's, the shootout scene at the end is absolutely fantastic, and the script and writing and characters are all really nice. A Clock of Orange, um, one of Kubrick's band movies, which is really bizarre. Looking back at it now, it's more of a, a jet black comedy than um, a really violent film. It's a, not a bad movie, but you know, people I think hyped up a bit too much, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I do like the whole aesthetic of it and the language and this all bit otherworldly. Um, I do like um, Michael McDowell, Al Alex, I think that's a really well good, a really well casted uh, part there. Cannibal the Musical was, um, I think, Trey Parker and Matt Stone's first sort of entry into, um, you know, being a filmmaker. It's a musical about cannibals. That's about it. And obviously being uh, in, during the Wild West. It's pretty damn funny. And they don't like it, but I think it's probably a really bloody good movie. Um, released by Trimmer back, released by Trimmer back in the 90s. Um, yeah, I, I really like it. Machine Girl. Um, oh, I do love Machine Girl. Priest. Priest was a film I saw at the cinema with my dad. And, um... Was you know looked really, really gory and that, and it was a twelve A. I thought, oh, this, this is going to be pretty good. Went and watched it, and it was fucking awesome. But um, they uh, set out for a sequel and all that, and um, never happened. And it turned to fifteen, so that was cool, wasn't it? Um, Around Tell Water. This was um, Gareth Evans's fit first um, martial arts film set in Indonesia. Um, the guy who made the Raid and Raid Two. Um, he also went on to make Apostle that was on Netflix as well. Um, I do like Apostle, but it's a little bit. Um, What's the word? Um, Far-fetched in places. But, um, yeah, I like it. Maranta Warrior is definitely the 
the raid roots in there somewhere. Like Father, like Son, a really um, bittersweet drama about two babies that get separated at birth. Well, not separated, I mean swapped at birth, but um, by somebody who couldn't have kids. And um, one kid has got, you know, a poor family and one's got a rich family. And um, they do DNA tests and it turns out their kids aren't theirs. Um, they kind of have this sort of like nice relationship where they go and the, the two boys swap families and spend the weekends with each other just to try and like, you know, rebond, I suppose. But it doesn't work. But it's a really, um, really beautiful film. Really well shot. It's funny. And um, Japan now to make movies. So that's good. Slip Knots to Zeta Pieces, um, the 2002 uh, gig at the London O2, which is fantastic. Um, I had to put this up on, on DVD because at the time, uh, you could find it on YouTube, but it was honestly just a bit crap because it was really low quality. Um, really good performance and um, just proves how they could uh, play in arenas. Twin Peaks, I do like Twin Peaks. I have a fucking clue um, what Twin Peaks. <laughs> What Twin Peaks is about, I know that sounds silly, but it's a it's a fever a dream and a half. Kind of blending like um you know, I don't know, like cerebral dream likeness with a, a LA Noir cop thriller, I suppose. Um really, really good. I haven't seen the new series or the movies, but I do like Twin Peaks. Uh instead of Pikachu, I saw this in cinema. I thought it wasn't too bad. Um Ray Reynolds does kind of piss me off a little bit, he's got another way in accent and he's just got another way of voice. Too psychic for my liking. But Detective Pikachu was not that bad. Little Nicky, oh my Christ, I remember this one. Uh, Little Nicky um, was one of my favourite films um, <laughs> as I was growing up. Um, it's a really good comedy with Harvey Keitel, uh, Adam Sandler, of course. Ozzy Osbourne makes a little entrance into it as well. It's very, very funny, and um, you know I would recommend it to anybody. Godzilla: Final Wars. This was the last Godzilla film from uh, Toho for a good number of years. Um, I believe this came out in 2006 or 2005, no, no, it was 2004, sorry. Um, it's basically a massive swan song for all the uh, gods of the monsters. Kind of like uh, Destroy All Monsters Part 2, if you would. Finding Nemo, beautiful, beautiful film for Pixar. Um, this scared me in the cinema for a number of reasons. Um, the angler fish scene and the whale scene. Um, could not watch it for a good number of years as a child, but there we go. Um, beautiful film, and even the DVD was beautiful as well. That's why it's shimmery. Can you see that? That's nice, yeah. Silence. Um, one of um, Martin Scorsese's uh, more, what's the word, I suppose, um, underground movies. I mean, it didn't really get much attention. Um, obviously, got a, a release in cinemas and all that kind of stuff, but nobody really talks about it. It's a really, really good movie. Adam Driver's in it, um, Liam Neeson, Shinya Sukamoto even plays a cameo in it, um, playing a Christian uh, priest. Um, it was during a time where Christianity was kind of, um, you know, being, was, was uh, I guess, you know, outlawed in Japan at that time and people were getting murdered for it, which was nice, in it? The 100 year old man who, who climbs out a window disappeared. I love this film. It's a, I believe it's a Danish film or it's a Swedish film. Very, very funny. Um, it's a bit of a long winded one, but it does make sense in the scheme of things. Um, I would, would recommend anybody watch that. The original 1980 Clash of the Titans. Um, Harry Howes in the last film, from that before he retired back in 1980. Um, this one is really, really good. Um, I used to watch it religiously as a kid, and I do love the special effects, especially the um, Medusa. That really creeped me out, that scene. All round good stuff. Starship Troopers. And Starship Troopers 2, come on now. You've got to have this new collection. I do love that Starship Troopers. Ace Ventura and Nature Calls. Ooh, I love Jim Carrey, but he really pissed me off in this film. I used to like this film as a kid, look, but um, I watched it recently and it pissed me off. Um, Jackass 1 and 2, I used to watch these a lot when I was younger. I used to be with friends' houses and stuff because we could, and it was funny seeing people get hurt. Lion King 2, this one's really underrated. Um, I didn't realize this until a few years back. But um, yeah, this one's really, really good. Um, uh, not a bad sequel, actually. It's still got that musical element to it, and it kind of continuates uh, with Simba's uh, daughter. So it's uh, not a bad one at all. Ignore Barf Bunny, that one's being just, uh, just hold these DVDs up. Right then. Ugh. So these ones over here are all the Sonic films. These have to be um, the whole box. These are all the uh, Saturday morning cartoon Sonic series. Um, these go for a little bit of money now, which is surprising, but they're all really badly animated and uh, just generally not very good. I used to love this as a kid, and they, um, they're a nice little addition to the collection. 
Louis Theroux's Weird Weekends. Um, I really do love that little series. Louis Theroux's a bit of a knob now, but I do like his uh, earlier work because it feels a bit more raw and a bit more personal. Raw the Rules remake with Tom Cruise. This one actually got a scare out of me as a kid. Um, very, very creepy. I'm surprised that they got a little tall on that. It really could have been at 18 at that point. It's very, very gruesome. School of Rock, the legendary Jack Black flick. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Hole is a different, it's a very different film that I was expecting. It's based on a book um, about people who, I guess, are just kids who go like, I guess it's kind of like, um, you know, offenders where they've got to go in like big holes in the middle of the desert and that. And it's all very interesting. Um, they kind of like, discover some sort of scam going on and yeah, cover it, which is really nice. Avatar, it's Avatar, isn't it? Everyone's seen Avatar. Darren Aronofsky's Black Swan. This one's really interesting. It's about a dancer who basically embodies the uh, Black Swan character in Swan Lake and becomes all naughty and bad and all that kind of stuff, but kind of transforms into a swan. It's all very weird. Um, but I do like it. It's a good film. Night at the Museum. I do honestly love this film. Um, underrated at the time, underrated still. I think it's been one of my cult classic now. Um, I think I have the sequel in somewhere. Um, we'll have a look in a second. Oh, no, let's see it there. Yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah, really good movie. Kung Fu Panda, obviously a, a classic from 2008. I loved this film as a kid, and I still love it now. It's really well animated, and it's very, very funny. This takes the piss. Attack on Titan Part 1, where at the time, um, anime DVDs back in like 10 years ago used to split the series into two parts because they'd get more fucking money out of it, and they only have one. It cost 20 fucking pounds at a time. Can you see why I'm annoyed now, people? Can you see why I'm annoyed? Be drama. Everyone's in drama. Uh, Umbilical Rule. This one I find this to be interesting. It's a lot of um, David Firth's work all combined into one cohesive story. Well, not really a story, but like a one cohesive experience. Um, also has the uh, short cream on there as well and kind of a backstory of his animations. Um, really, really good stuff. Lilting. This one is really fucking depressing, but. Oh, that one there. <laughs> it's basically about um, this guy and his partner. Um, his partner gets killed in this horrific car accident, and um, his partner, being of, of Chinese descent, his mum can't speak English very well. So he has to basically go to the uh, nursing home that she's in and get someone to translate for her. And his uh, mum didn't know he was gay. So it's a very, very emotional film and kind of like trying to build a relationship with his uh, mum. It's quite upsetting and very, very sad. Top Gear Vietnam Special. Um, this is the golden year of Top Gear when it was just three boys, uh, James May, um, Joey Clarkson and Richard Hammond. Um, not, not really a big fan of cars, but I loved the, uh, the kind of camaraderie of these three and the Vietnam Special was very, very funny. A three of one here, Chicken Mum, which is an amazing film. If you've not seen it, or a classic. James and Joe Peach, yeah. it's showing his age a little bit now, but um, it's nowhere near as good as the book. And Anastasia, I've completely, I've completely forgot what this fucking movie is about. It's a shame. The David Lynch Collection. This, I believe, has The Elephant Man, Mulholland Drive, and, and Empire. Oh, what was right. Um, yeah, really good selection of films that I do a little bit of David Lynch. Oh, press F and chat, boys, for Utopia. We never got season three. Utopia is a really good British, um, I guess, dystopian sci fi thriller drama. That was a mouthful. Um, <laughs> plays a lot on the sort of conspiracy theory end of, well, I guess, conspiracy theories and uh, a group of people who find a comic book that wasn't meant to be released and it's under some sort of like secret government protection that's trying to retrieve it. Very, very scary stuff, but really good series. Uh, we'll recommend. High and Low is a really good Akira Kurosawa movie about um, this man who works for a shoe shop, or he's a manager of a shoe shop. Well, the CEO, I'm not too sure. And his son gets kidnapped by a bunch of bastards. And it's basically about them trying to negotiate with these people to get his son back. Um, but they get the wrong one, it's somebody else's son. Really, really good movie and a really good sort of like crime drama. Very, very good. Frank and Weenie. Um, I saw it at cinema and I loved it. It's basically an adaptation of the original Frank and Weenie that was on the Nightmare Before Christmas special features. It was like a, I guess a 30 minute or maybe even an hour long short. It was really, really good live action film. They made it, they made it into stop motion and had some new bells and whistles to it. Very, very nice stuff. Ikiru is fucking gorgeous to be honest. Um, about a man who's a salary man, you know, an everyday person. 
has wasted his life in this bloody office and gets diagnosed with cancer and realizes that he's wasted his entire life to be nothing. Um, very, very eye opening film. If you, I guess, if you work in those environments, you're not really, um, I don't know, I haven't really written an office, so I wouldn't really know, but very, very emotional, very, very sad, but beautiful film. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Got remade, got remade recently with Bill Nye in it, so that's pretty cool, isn't it? Night Enemies in 2, uh, not as good as the first one, in honesty, but it is very good and I like it. So, yeah. Reservoir Dogs, another one of my favorite films of. Tarantino's. I think it's better than Pulp Fiction, really. It's much more simple, stripped back. Um, yeah, really good film. Uncle Buck is one of my favourites, actually. Let's get over that. I love Uncle Buck. It's one of my favourite comedies of all time, the comedy dramas of all time. It's got a young um, Macaulay Culkin in it as well. Um, he's really funny in it. Um, overall, it's about um, doing the right thing and growing a pair of balls, really. That's pretty what it's all about. Uh, John Candy is super. Brought a combat from 1995. Um, it's a bit naff, but for nostalgia's sake, I really like it. Pokemon Forever with Celebi. Um, yeah, very, very sad. Charlie died. Um, Celebi, but obviously, he comes back to life. It's Pokemon, what do you expect? Um, really nice animation. Um, beautiful, sort of, um, I guess, new design of characters. I really like it. It's the Nightmare Before Christmas. You guys say more? It's fucking amazing. The Goonies, one of the best films ever made in my opinion. Um, shot completely chronologically, which is ridiculous, um, especially with a high budget film like this. Um, it bursts basically that sort of um, adventure children's... Children? What am I talking about? Kind of birthed um, a lot of things like Stranger Things and it's serious, I suppose, you know, it, it films, you know. Birthed all that kind of stuff, really, really good. Um, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, my favourite Harry Potter film, actually. I know Prisoner of Azkaban is definitely better and on, you know, has better characters, but if that's the start of the That's the start of the for me. Very, very good stuff. Hello. Um, Home Alone 2, I think it's probably better than the first one. They're both really good, I can't really compare. But um, yeah, Home Alone 2, Escape, is it, is it Lost in New York? I almost said Escape from that's a completely different movie. Whoops. Shallow Grave, one of Danny Boyle's early works with uh, Ewan McGregor. And um, what's his name from Doctor Who? I've completely forgotten now. That is embarrassing. Oh, I'm the cover. Mm -hmm. There we go. Terry Fox, Christopher Eccleston. That's the one. That's the one. Um, let's get it back in the pile. No. There we go. Back to the front bit. It's okay. Yeah, Shallow Grave. Um, early 90s uh, crime thriller. It's fantastic. Um, kind of low budget, but it's all right because. Um, it's a very simple premise about some people who move into this uh, flat and there's um, a whole stash of money in the loft in a suitcase and some naughty evil people want it and they kill them basically and they have the money for themselves not really realizing that there could be some consequences behind that uh, very very good and there's a nice twist at the end the triplets of Bella Bill made by the people who made the illusionist um, I fucking love this movie it's fantastic Basically, about like a, I guess, like a French mafia kidnapping bicy bicycle bicyclers, cyclists. Sorry, my brain is turning into mush right now. <laughs> kidnapping cyclists to have them um, compete in some sort of um, gambling um, gambling ring. Um, up having them sort of um, place some pets on them like horses is quite sick. But it's a really nicely uh, animated French film, and there's no talking in it, so there's no real subtitles. It's really nice. Metallica, some kind of monster. This was like them 20 years ago trying to figure out their new album. I think it's when see Angular is coming out. Um, it's an underrated album, but it does sound like crap. Um, not not particularly um, the rest of the band, but Lars's bloody snare sounds like a bloody um, rubbish bin can. Um, yeah, good little documentary that's interesting. Um, the Indiana Jones trilogy, by law, you must have that in your collection. Interstellar, a really, really good Christopher Nolan film. I fucking love this movie. I saw it 4K. I think that's the only 4K film I've ever seen. But um, brain bending scientific facts. And um, overall, really good cast. Um, it's very emotional. Um, it's kind of leaves your jaw hanging on the floor sometimes. Really, really good. Especially 11 years later, it's still really, really good and holds up today. Happy days. Hate for late. I did not like this film at all, really. I thought it was just kind of um, a bit naff. It could have been a better sort of stage play, really. But in the end, it's Tarantino and he likes cinema and he cares about cinema. So, um, 
Yeah, it's not too bad. I, I like the casting and all that, but I just don't like the story. I think it's just a bit long winded, really. King Kong vs. Godzilla. This one is a Toho classic from the early 60s. Um, yeah, it's just men rubber suits having a big sort of batter, really. Um, really, really good. Really funny at times. Um, just an all round um, monster mash. Um, this is uh, probably one of the holy grails of um, early Kaiju. Shaolin Soccer. I've only seen this film once. Um, I honestly can't tell you what it's about. I think it's really about like a, a soccer team that are really shit and they discover they can use Shaolin abilities to um, win um, football games. Um, I have to rewatch it to be honest with you. Um, I'm not really that um, versed in it. TMNT or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is absolutely brilliant. Um, this one really went under the radar. It's released in 2007, completely animated, and um, it's got some really good story beats to it. Um, the characters are really well fleshed out, which is ridiculous for a uh, film about some Ninja Turtles. <laughs> um, it's on par with the 1990 live action um, Ninja Turtles from that era. I remember that one too. This one's really good. And it's a bit of a cult classic The Invention of Lying. Um, but it does what it says on the tin, really. It's Ricky Gervais' character who's invented lying and can get away with anything, really. Then becomes God, and it's kind of a bit shit, then, really. Um, Godzilla, the uh, 2014 version. I did really like this movie in the cinemas. Um, it was kind of the first sort of Godzilla thing we had for ages, really. And um, obviously, Birth Back in the Monsters, then the new Kong movies, then the King of Godzilla and Kong, and the new Godzilla and Kong. <laughs> It's a bit of a mouthful, but this one started it all um, to the MonsterVerse, and it's not bad. Um, I genuinely do like it, and um, you know, it's not as bad as people say. Jason and the Argonauts, um, an absolute classic of Ray Harryhausen special effects. Um, not as good as Clash of the Titans, but I do like it, especially with the skeleton fights and um, the Hydra at the end. I do like that movie. Batteries not included. Underrated, a really fucking underrated movie this is. Um, it's late 80s and mid, I guess late 80s, early 90s, um, gold really. Um, it's basically about this uh, struggling business and they're trying to build on the land and there's uh, thuggish people involved and this old, old couple are involved in it and they're having their business trashed and the flat above are getting their fucking homes trashed and you better leave and you know, there's money involved and you leave my like, crap and it's like, no, it's bad and integrity. And the little robots come along and fix it all for them and they have babies and it's quite sweet. And I love the designs of the uh, robots, like little like um, little saucers kind of thing. And a really sweet film, um, and a really good one too. I, I genuinely love this film. It's probably one of my favourites um, in the collection. I should do a, a favourite film um, list at some point, but yeah, it's not a bad way to end a list, is it? To be honest, I completely forgot to add this as well. Once upon a time in Hollywood, um, I really liked this movie. Um, I didn't see it at the cinema, but I watched it on the Blu-ray. Um, I can see why people didn't, people didn't like it that much, but um, the focus then. Um, I can see where people didn't like it, but I thought it was just a, a glorious film, really. It got a piece homage to the 60s and 70s, glory days of Hollywood before the, um, well, turned to a lump of shit. And who can forget this one? I thought this is kind of cheating because it's mine. But um, <laughs> the Gore Armor that uh, Simple Preservation puts out with me and that wreck about a year ago. So there's that as well. Isn't that lovely, eh? eh?